Weather-wise out there tonight, the main focus is Tropical Storm Nate and what that means for us here in the Piedmont Triad. That will answer this question as to when does rain return to the Piedmont Triad. I've also got a look at your weekend forecast all coming up right now. Let's start with the tropics, though, to get you updated on exactly where this tropical storm is. Maximum winds at 40 miles per hour right now and wind gust at 50 miles per hour. This is still churning around Nicaragua and moving up toward Honduras. Now, tomorrow, you'll notice it's continuing to move up and actually strengthens to a Category 1 hurricane as it makes landfall in the United States by Saturday afternoon. Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama are all at risk for heavy winds and the potential for flooding because of heavy rainfall. Now I can tell you New Orleans is especially worried about this and it's something we're going to watch carefully. The cone of error actually does not extend to Florida, but I'll tell you what Florida is still preparing right now for any effects that could turn with this uh, hurricane as it strengthens to a hurricane because the, the problem is this continues to take a westward turn and it's been doing so as we've watched it. It could continue to go even further though off to the east and if it does that it could turn back and that would be when it's an issue for Florida. So we'll watch that carefully and we'll keep you updated through tonight's newscast and through next week as well when it affects us right here in the triad Sunday through Tuesday is when we'll see the rain effects from this. Now we need the rain. Farmers and gardeners are thrilled at the change of we've had many dry days out there, but now we're looking forward to getting some of that rain for many people's yards. That's going to help out. Take a look by Sunday evening, close to an inch of rain in the forecast, and then by Monday, over an inch and a half of rain expected, and then into Tuesday, over two inches of rain expected. Now, this is just a model. These numbers are not set in stone, but I think it's important to show you just how much rain we could see as that system moves up tonight, though, crystal clear and there's great things going on tonight. The Dixie Classic Fair and then tomorrow's football Friday. We're going to be in the clear for rain both nights, which is excellent. But temperature wise out there, we are warm this evening. Take a look 81 in High Point and Greensboro, 80 in Winston Salem, along with Lexington and Thomasville, 80 in Asheboro as well, and 83 degrees in Burlington. So if you're headed to the fair tonight for some of that fair food or maybe to ride the rides by seven o'clock, you're going to be in good shape. 72 degrees and mostly clear skies out there, and I'll show you your football Friday forecast coming up shortly. But this evening here at home, 67 degrees with clear skies. A few light clouds move in overnight. No rain associated, though. We'll be at 56 degrees and then tomorrow. 84 degrees, sunny skies and warmer temperatures. Over the next seven days, we transition back into the 70s for Sunday and Monday, but the rain really starts to return on Sunday. Tomorrow, there's a light 25% chance. That's really more of an overnight issue. It's not going to wipe out any of your evening plans, so enjoy the majority of your weekend. But then Sunday all the way through next Thursday, well, we could see a little bit of a washout. But again, guys, this is rain we need, so it's not all bad news. All right, Kate, thank you.